Hello then everyone, welcome to another match reaction. Um, yeah, uh, a solid win, solid win, 2-0 win on the road, unbeaten in five away from home. We have the worst home record in the league, but we have the 10th away, we, ha we are 10th in the table for away from, away record this season. So, yeah, make of, uh, make of that what you will. Uh, what I will, I'll, like I say, I'll briefly go through, I'll go through the game in the next sort of five, six minutes. And yeah, I'll give a few opinions as well. So um, obviously Coventry without their uh, without their manager for uh, for that game for for the game due to COVID and whatever. So I wish Mark Robbins a speedy recovery. Um, City's team, I can tell you, uh, there was there was one change from the Birmingham draw, and that was Regan Slater in for Greg Doherty. So it was Ingram and goal back three of Jones, Greaves, and McLaughlin. Ryan Long went at right wing back, uh, Brandon Fleming left wing back, two centimetres were smaller than Slater with Doherty, no, with Honeyman on the right, Lewis Potter on the left and Eves up top. Um, I have been saying for weeks that Honeyman needs to be more central, I stand by that, but he seemed to be more, he seemed to be in a more central position today and yeah, I'm quite quite fond of that because when he centrally gets on the ball more and whenever Honeyman has the ball we can make stuff happen as a team we can make stuff happen the first sort of half chance came to Coventry I think Hamer had an effort that was saved by Ingram and then yeah we went up the other end a good bit of play Longman found Honeyman who um, just on the edge of the box found a, found a nice pocket of space to play a ball into Smallwood saw the same pocket of space ran into it shot um, I don't know what the keeper was doing. I think he dived over the ball. Um, they just went underneath him. Uh, yeah, Paul Simon Ball. <laughs> He's not had the greatest, uh, greatest of times recently, has he? Um, he can go for Coventry, by the sounds of things, anyway. And yeah, that was 1 0. Then a little while later, we made it 2. It was a, a, a KLP went on a really, really good run, really good shot. Decent save by Simon Moore. And then um, the corner was whipped in by Honeyman. Got cleared on as far as Longman. Just, just you know, just inside the box. Brought it down. Really, really good hit. Powerful effort. Right into the right into the net. Off the crossbar. And Will Young from to hold him back made the point. That goals that go in off the crossbar. Just looks so satisfying. It just looked brilliant. And yeah, we saw Coventry came into the game a little bit more as the half went on, but we saw it out. We saw the half out, got into half time, home, um, halfway there, halfway home and dry. Then the second half, we kept our shape really well. And yeah, Coventry had the better of the game in the second half, I think. But they, oh, it was the same for them all game from my point of view watching it on, uh, on the sky red button that they just couldn't get the they just couldn't get the final ball off and it was very easy for us to intercept a lot of their passes a lot a lot a lot of their passes so yeah that will certainly be uh, a talking point for Coventry fans as will be. The penalty shout for them, which led to their goal that never was. I'll explain. So there was an incident, I think it was Greaves or Jones brought someone down. The ref waved play on. Coventry regrouped just a little bit outside the box, played a ball in. And then it, it bounced off Greaves, off Ingram. And then Greaves, who was sliding, it bounced into his head which was lying just behind the goal line. I can't lie, at first glance, I thought it went in. I thought it went in. So having seen a replay and having seen still images, watching it back myself, I am of the opinion that the referee called it right, the goal line technology called it right, as you'd expect goal line technology to do, to be fair. Um. 
it was just, and when I say just, it will have been a matter of millimetres still on the line. The whole ball has to cross the line and have it, and the still images for me say that the whole ball did not cross the line. And Coventry fans blaming the referee shouting, you're not fit to referee. It's the technology. Technology is there for a reason. It made the decision for the referee. His watch, his, well, glammed up version of this on his wrist did not buzz. It didn't buzz. So, it, therefore, it won a goal. Was the penalty a penalty? I don't think so. But did I think the goal was a goal at first? Absolutely, yes. Um... Yeah, then Eves came off injured. We'll be interesting to see to see what Shotter says about that, whether he just took him off as a precaution because he went down. Yeah, and then we just shit out it in the last few minutes. Ingram, the ball's miles away from the goal, but he just dived, put his arms just straight up in the air, nowhere near the ball, just to take the mick. Um yeah, we we just had to hold on because two 0 is a dangerous scoreline. You think you're in control, but they get to go back. You're right under pressure again. So you know Ingram had to. Ingram had to, you know, joust it a little bit, but all part of the fun. All part of the fun. I did question quite a lot of what Matt Ingram was doing in the early first half. There was an incident where he should have just let the ball run out for a goal kick, but he didn't, and he tried to like keep it in, but he he might have gone out the box. I'm not too sure, but. City had the rub of the green, definitely. And the ref, I think, was a little bit more in our favour, but we, but you know, the decisions, I'm trying to think the right word, the decisions, the ref gave decisions in our favour, but I think they were the right decisions 90% of the time. And uh, well, there, there was a couple of incidents where Coventry got fouls that weren't, and so did we, to be fair. And the ref let a lot of the grappling go uh, with Eves and Alfie Jones was doing it to Callum O'Hare. So, you know, it's, it's those, sort of, those sorts of things that you come to expect to be let go. And um, all that stuff. Yeah. What I did not like was Glenn Murray. I'm not sure if it was the striker or not. But a bloke called Glenn Murray on commentary said that after Eves missed an opportunity, Lewis Potter running down the left-hand side... Pulled it across. Eves probably should have slid for it, but didn't. And then he couldn't... It, 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 because he had to run round and control the ball, it gave a chance for Coventry to have men back, and that should have been our third. But Glenn Murray reckoned that Marcus Force would have scored some of the chances that Tom Eves had. It just shows how little some of those commentators do their research. He has been terrible for us. And when Eves came off, I was so glad it was Sai Admanet who came on, even though it was just for those few minutes. And I wonder if we'll ever get to see Ali I get a decent shot. I don't know. But we, we shall see. Uh, but yeah, King Richard with a goal, the skipper. Um, Lucas Small was watching. This is buzzing if you're on the live streams. Um, Longman, hopefully that's the goal to kick Longman, to give you know Longman a little kick up the arse, really. Because since he signed permanently for us, he's done absolutely nothing. So hopefully that is a sign of the Ryan Longman we will see for the rest of the season. And yeah, it's going to be a tough game on Saturday. But, you know, a bit of self-belief from that win. Anything can happen. Right. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. Uh, take care. Goodbye. What a win. Come on.